Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. It's going to be BSL Season 14, Hostile League, Round of 16, Group B, Jedi vs. Art of Turtle, Game 2. Jedi 1 starting at the 12 o'clock location is the Brown Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Art of Turtle starting as the Marine Zergling, or I shouldn't say Marine, the Zergling Green, because it's like Marine Green, whatever. Darkish Green. <laughs> Jedi 1 looking really strong in Game 1. Art of Turtle was... It felt like in multiple positions to... I feel like there were a lot of opportunities that he just wasn't able to quite capitalize on. Part of it was is just Art of, uh, Jedi 1 was outmaneuvering him and playing really, really strong play and really, it almost felt like one step ahead sort of tactics, getting the Zealots in position. Even the, maybe even the pylon blockade. I feel like the layer being exposed in the upper left hand corner There could have been more done with that, I guess. But no, it's... And I'm a little bit sad that it wasn't because it's kind of the commentator pride thing where it's like, oh man, I wish he had done it because then I could have been like, ha-ha! Instead, he just wins normally by kill by having overwhelming attack forces and Corsairs that obliterate everything in the air. Ho-hum. Overpool for Art of Turtle. Looks like we are... Well, see for seeing a Forge first. Gateway first opener for Jedi 1. Wants to get aggressive with the Zelts. This means he is going to have to sneak back and defend up, potentially, because there are going to be a lot of Zerglings to deal with that, depending on how many larva that Art of Turtle saves. Art of Turtle does tend to be more macro-oriented. Moving out, let's see if he drone scouts here, this Overlord making it way bottom left, and it looks like Jedi is going to get first scout. I kind of like Zealots on this map because you do have kind of the smaller gap to work with. There's a lot of features. Battle Probe versus Battle Drone, dro or Probe going to go ahead and back off to maintain shields, let that drone go ahead and walk across. Not sure that's going to affect anything he's doing. We are going to feed... It looks like we are seeing a larva save. Only two Zerglings being produced initially, however, and a drone being produced after that. It's going to make defense a little bit more challenging. Let's see if this larva gets it. Nope, it's going to be a drone as well, which means this zealot potentially going to be able to walk towards that natural expansion, get some damage done. You, you know this probe loves seeing that too. It's like, ah, ah, ah. Off initial larva, I'm seeing taking a little bit of damage, but seeing drones come out, that's exactly what you want to see. Additional Zerglings being produced. Zealot's actually going to stay at home base here. So Art of Turtle conform, uh, confirming that it was Gateway Opener. Gas Steel again. Probe dies, though. Zergling's going to go work on that assimilator. Art of Turtle's already got that natural expansion up. Looks like he's going to walk out to grab that third. That Zealot now marching out. Nexus behind this. The Zealot Holding back on home base. This is one of those situations where I'm like, is it more beneficial to do a run by with Arter Turtle and build additional Zerglings to get past this Zealot if it wanted to march out and field? This is a wide open area where the Zerglings can go for a run by. Or it's, I don't know, Zerglings a little bit faster on the ground, plus you've got that speed that can come behind it. But the gas was somewhat delayed. Assimilator warping in. Going to be a hard defense here because no forge yet. Nexus. Warping it. And this is three Zealots and a lot of gaps. The Zerglings running right by, taking a little bit of damage, but just going to scoot right in. And again, they have like a, yeah, faster base speed. So Jedi 1 going to have to deal with this. And it looks like they're already able to get a little... And this is... We'll see if they can go ahead and disrupt that gas. Just, and actually, is that four probes on gas? I think that's four probes on gas. So a little bit of a missed micro there by Jedi. See if he adjusts it. Looks like he adjusted it. The Zealot still trying to box out these Zerglings. Third base up, but more Zerglings running across. No cannon on the front yet, so potentially Art of Turtle going for some early aggression. He can get a surround on these Zealots if he times it just right, getting engagement maybe a little bit too early. Another Zealot wiped out. More Zerglings now flooding in, and now it's... <laughs> so it's like a Zergling exchange. Four Zerglings for six. Plenty of Zealots to deal with this if they can catch the Zerglings. Is he going to go for... It doesn't look like he's going for Zergling speed. Lair morphing. Managed to get a probe kill right there, but lost a Zergling for it. Jedi 1 doing a pretty good job of macroing behind this. This is usually a frustrating situation, but... First cannon finally coming online on the front. Oftentimes you'll see Protoss players also kind of sneak through and run forward. Now the probes... Yeah, more disrupted mining time. Nice little bit of micro. 
Some idle drones, though, for Art of Turtle behind this. Lair is not that far off. The other advantage for Art of Turtle is you can kind of confirm that count. Ugh. Able to disrupt some gas. A little bit of gas right there. Sees the Stargate. But four Zerglings have now died. There's actually more than that, technically. But one Zergling remaining. Can provide that scouting information. And that gives... Against Zerg, it, it can provide a degree of flexibility. Layer finishes. Going to look for that Spire. Or it's possible Art of Turtle is going to move back towards Hydralis Play. Citadel of Adun being plopped down. And the Zealots marching out. I like this play on Jedi 1, especially given everything that's happened up to this stage. More Zerglings being produced. Spire is morphing. This could be a critical moment of the match. Is can Jedi 1 press forward and get some damage done at one of these locations? Or is Art of Turtle just going to straight up defend it? The Zealots just hold this gap. I feel like they're a threat. Fourth Hatchery being planted. To go for more of that come at me bro style. But this is a lot of Zerglings that... But otherwise, if you look at the, the, the worker count, Art of Turtle is currently even. Which is a great situation to be in. The Zealots as I'm not paying attention, kind of flubbing the Observer micro today. Diving in, disrupting the third. Art of Turtle, I don't think a drone got picked off, though. And these Zealots just getting absolutely swamped. So the Zealots getting completely wiped out. You've got the Zergling threat on the ground. You only have one cannon. Sorry, two cannons on the front. Potentially Mutalisks not that long after this. First Corsair. Looks like it's going to take out this Overlord. But... Art of Turtle has enough gas to produce five Mutalisks, and I don't see any cannons for defense at the main. Zealot Leg Speed being produced. Art of Turtle still pushing Zerglings through, jumping on top of the cannons. I think this might have been a misstep. Or maybe if he moves the Mutalisks to the natural expansion, only one Photon Cannon to defend, potentially. Corsair's remaining idol has that single kill. Looks like instead, he's just building Scourge to play more defensively, going up to five hatcheries. But as things stand, Arter Turtle's near even on supply. He has an equal number of drones to work, or worker count, I should say. 27 versus 25, which usually favors Zerg. The Scourge are wandering forward. This Corsair's going to have his work cut out for him, but still... Man, I wish there were... This is, again, it's... I don't know how Art of Turtle would have known. Aside from having those Zerglings in the base earlier, but... And also having the Zerglings at the natural expansion. But you can see there's just not a lot of protection against Mutalisks. Through a lot of this base. Nope, never mind. There they are. So five Mutalisks wandering forward. Let's see if some Scourge can get... Into a grouping with this. Because one Corsair doesn't beat this. So additional economic damage... The, Cor the Scourge a little bit out of position to provide defense, but three Corsairs is sufficient to bully this back. I almost want to see Art of Turtle make another swing at it once he's got the rest of this attack force grouped up, or maybe even poke at the natural expansion where there's just a bunch of Zelts waiting there to get shot at, potentially. Photon can't... Yeah, okay. Now grouping up, diving in. Scourge lands. Art of Turtle not breaking off the Scourge, though, to go after the Corsair, so... Having some trouble microing. Looks like that one didn't land. So, Jedi dodging a bullet. Worker count lead for Arter Turtle now. And supply counts are even. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Hydralis Den is going to drop. And this is also one of those situations where a lot of Hydralisks... Previously, this is when Arter Turtle's kind of put his foot on the gas pedal and produced a lot of Hydralis to go ahead and attack both fronts. Or I guess a single front in this instance. A lot of Scourge grouping up. Artichurl maybe just wanting to get it done with what is here. The, and I like that because the Scourge can go ahead and box out those Corsair. Yeah, they see the Scourge. They're backing off. That's going to pin these outs to the front. More Scourge being produced. So Artichurl, yeah, let's see if he adds more. No, now he's going to switch to the Hydralisks. Waiting on Hydralis speed potentially, but he can just rally troops to the front, box Jedi 1 into two bases, and proceed from there. And he still has this huge Mutalis Scourge threat to work with. There still looks like only a single Photon, can photon Cannon to potentially defend at the natural, but the Corsair count is growing. We are at a five count. Looks like we're going to have six added on. 
Once you have those six Corsair, you're in a stronger position if you can micro it well. Uh, you got to make sure you're not just getting obliterated by Scourge, though. But now some Zerglings taking the field. Looks like he's just wandering out to make sure a sneaky fourth base wasn't grabbed. Plus one weapons being tacked on. And now the Mutalisks starting to group up. A Dark Templar sneaking out. And I don't think that Overlord's speed is yet. Yeah, it's about halfway finished. I'm not sure if Art of Turtle saw the Shimmer or not. You really have to pay attention right on the map to see that Shimmer making its way across. There is an Overlord, and it looks like a single Hydralisk. And more Hydralisks being produced, though. So I don't know that this is going to be able to get a lot done at this location. Still might be able to get some very quick kills. And let's see if these Hydralisks are just straight up rallied. Art of Turtle, yeah, I think he's hunting for that Shimmer. Plus one weapons is finished. Plus two weapons is going to be there shortly. Zealots walking their way across. Now it's a decent sized Zealot Corsair force to engage this army. The Scourge wandering up. Taking out a lot of those Corsair. A fourth Corsair joining the front, which is going to protect those Zealots. But there are a lot of Hydralisks now to go ahead and counter the rest. There's some Zerglings a little bit out of position. To assist with this. Also, looks like these Corsair, yeah, going to have to back off. But Arda Turtle moving a lot of his troops out of position, which is going to allow this Dark Templar to meander in, potentially get some drone kills. Unfortunately, it's attacking the hatchery first. Maybe distracted as these Mutalisks were pushing up and engaging the Corsairs while they were in smaller numbers. So some Mutalisks being taken out, but that Dark Templar also getting wiped out. So bullet dodged for Arda Turtle. Corsair is continuing to try to engage these four Mutalisks. But there's a lot of Hydralisks now underneath. And oh, I think they're, yep. Goodbye, Corsairs. Still some Zealots are out here. They have plus two weapons, which means they're going to hit real hard. A High Templar wandering out as well. Supply counts are very nearly even. And it might be a base trade situation as Art of Turtle is just migrating all of his troops. So this could be a wiped out third. And critically, taking out three hatcheries. Which is a lot of Arter Turtle's production, but in the base race situation, I think Arter Turtle would win. Zergling starting to engage. The Zealots and everything else now engaging at the third, wiping out a lot of Hydralisks. Now does Arter Turtle pull the trigger? It's going to be micro versus micro on two fronts. Yeah, he's just going to back off the drones to his main. Needs to build some troops on his front to just create some delay. Lurker Tech is a ways away. So yeah, it's going to be base trade versus base trade. Arter Turtle careening in some cannons trying to be dropped. The Zealots making their way across. Psystorm dropping everywhere, obliterating both the drone line and the Hydralisks. Comes down to some dedication multitasking and micro now. Arter Turtle has the troops to wipe out the base in the other corner. Maybe if he can sneak out a drone, can equalize this. Mutalists wandering up. So they will eventually take out a lot of these zealots. You can ignore that assimilator. And now it's who kills who first. I think Arter Turtle has more troops to do it with. Hydralisten's going to get picked off. This hatchery's gone. The Mutal's working on the High Templar because that's the only thing that can attack them. I really want to see an assimilator just snuck somewhere out in the map. Additional Sutton Colonies being dropped to try to buy time for Arter Turtle. Arter Turtle swarming in. To try to wipe out what he can. That's the last attack unit for Arter Turtle, so or for Jedi 1, so it's gonna be a race. Zealots diving in. Mutalists trying to slow the Zealots down, pick off what they can at the main. This is gonna be the critical factor. You have an extractor that was left at the third, and regardless, Jedi 1 thinking he just doesn't have enough on the game, so uh, left in the game to equalize things. So Arter Turtle takes the match. And we are at one apiece. Fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.